Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's Phil 20 and I'm back. Check this out. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to log in, set up grid zero, get done with it quickly. But first, you should automatically already set up your standard battery setup through the uh, wizard profile. So you want to go through your wizard profile and input all the battery specifications by the manufacturer's recommendations. we're past that you've already got the manufacturer recommendation installed and correct so let's move forward with grid zero grid zero from the factory it's set up like this the user is set up as one two three you're going to press the center button now the installer is going to be 1732 if you haven't changed this password this password is only logging in from this specific location. So you're gonna to wanna to change that in the future. If you wanted to, in case somebody would go around tampering with the settings, because if they do, you could damage the batteries, etc. Let's move forward and log in. How you use this is a scroll wheel. I notice it's sensitive and not very accurate. Sometimes it works good, sometimes it don't. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is click on settings to go to grid zero. And you're gonna scroll to inverter. Then you're gonna scroll to grid AC input mode and limits. Now, I currently have my input mode set to grid zero. It will not be set to grid zero, it'll probably be more likely set to uh, grid cell. So, mini grid backup, uh, uninterruptible power supply, and that's exactly how the Magnum is set up and you can't change it. Grid tide, support, generator, and grid zero. So since we're talking about grid zero today, we're gonna to select grid zero and select enter. And then you're gonna move over to DOD volts. That means depth of discharge volts. 48.8 is what I have mine set to. And I have a clever way to exhaust all my electrical power that I'm gaining during the day. And that's a good thing. So I'll explain to you that in just a moment. So I set it to 48.8 for my specifications. I can go a little higher, but I'm not going to. This is high enough. Uh, I noticed that one thing I don't like about it is it don't go by 10th of a volt. It, go, it goes by uh, quarters of a volt. Or a little bit more than a quarter. So you can see that it goes from 48.0 to 48.4 to 48.8 and a 49.2 which isn't super bad which isn't that big a deal and then you got DOD amps I just left this at 30 and that's uh, alternating current amps alternating current okay now what I want to show you next is the DOD amps 30 AC, uh, AAC, and AAC stands for Amps Alternating Current. And DOD Amps is Depth of Discharge Amps. It adjusts the maximum current in AC amperage, which at grid zero mode draws power from the batteries. So it, it allows the maximum amps in alternating current that it'll draw, which at 30 amps is 30 uh, multiplied by 240 volts or 110 volts per circuit. Uh, so if you got 30 amps on 110 volt side circuit or 
the other side, 30 amps on 110 uh, volt circuit on the other side, or combination, 30 amps at 240 volts, which is the AC amperage. That's gonna distribute the power load through that. And the load, it is dependent on the voltage output of the inverter that you're using. So you have to calculate 30 amps times the volts that you're running. So that is grid zero mode. If you have any questions on other grid modes on this inverter, how to sail back to the grid or whatnot, then I can definitely give you an explanation. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. This is Philip 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. Peace out. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.